Last week on the Cruising Kiwis, we sailed blind in Fiji waters. We're in trouble. We sent the expendable middle child into the blue to save the day. And the prodigal son returned. Rob's culinary choices can be extreme. Now look at that. Now that is good. Let's go straight to the pool room. No thanks. We may have to live off insects at some point. So I've caught the cicada and I'm going to dine out on it right now. Disgusting. So trying raw clam. And although he likes to watch Nigella Lawson while he heats up his two minute noodles, we don't always like what he cooks for us. Ooh. Yeah, it tastes like it smells. Yeah. I have made a special meal. Look at, oh my goodness. A bolognese surprise. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mary. Yes, thank you for your input. Wonders of wonders, miracles of miracles. Rob has created something edible. One day, you know, I might even share this recipe with the viewers. Both of you. Rob's culinary skill also stretches to making sandwiches, but today he's learning how to make a curry. I'm going to make, or learn to make, a consistent curry. Best curry I've ever had was probably made by me. Worst curry I've ever had was definitely made by me. So I'm going to go for some consistency and it's going to be awesome. A lot of fun and I shall delight my family and friends and Farno with the latest culinary delights. Cool. Our cooking lesson today is taking place at the home of Ravine. Hello. His wife Mika, Hello. daughter Ramika and their friend Tina. This lesson has come about after Rob donated a giant trevally to Ravine and his family on the beach near Denera recently. They wanted to give us something in return, so the cooking idea was created. We are providing the ingredients and they are providing the knowledge. Stage 1. Prepare the veggies. Peel and slice onions. Peel garlic. Cut up ginger. Pound garlic and ginger in a pestle and mortar. Remove a handful of curry leaves from the stalk. Stage 2. Cut the fish. I got it wrong. I thought I was bringing the trevally from the freezer. But I put the king mackerel and apparently the mackerel, the trevally is better for curry. But it's okay. I'm going to leave the skin on. It's okay to leave the skin on. There's no scales. No double skin then, The skin is okay because there's no scales on it. No skin is good for you. The skin is good for you, yeah, it's more another nutrition. Wash fish and drain. Soak fish in tamarind for five minutes. We're going to marinate in the tamarind. Uh, tamarind. Yes. Tamarind? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It uh, kills the. Um, like a fishy smell in it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it takes it away. Oh, good. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. So this is. Timon. Oh, wow. oh, it smells beautiful. Mm. Oh, it's incredible. You can eat it? Yes, you can eat it. It's supposed to be lemony limey, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's got a real pain. Oh, fiery, man, it's firing up on my tongue. Back in my seat. So, taste buds right at the back. And, and a wish of hollyhocks. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Thank you. Rob wasn't the only person adding a new string to his bow this week. He'd only been home five minutes, but Finn was hitting the ground running. Currently, I have got a issue, a maintenance thing that I have been putting off for weeks, 
not days, probably weeks, it is weeks now actually because it's to do with the fuel and the fuel system has two filtration filters. One's the primary filter, the other one's the secondary filter. The secondary filter is in the motor, it's right actually attached to the motor itself. It's the final thing before it goes into the injectors. That secondary fuel filter should have been changed like 50 hours ago. And I'm so, it's like I'm just asking for problems because at some point the engine's going to go And it's a simple job. It's not a big job. I, I've got the kids doing it before. So actually what I might do is get the kids to do it. That, that's what I'll do. I'll be the foreman and we'll get the kids to do it. Part of the resistance to doing this sort of job is this. Accessing all this faffing around in the back. Then Rachel will probably want me to sweep up afterwards or something. Oh, God. You know, it's just, it's never ending for a bloke. I love my wife. So these are the tools we need for the job. Screwdriver, multi-grip pliers, a dessert bowl, like we had uh, our fruit salad in that this morning. And of course, the all-important filter. Let's go do it, Finn. I didn't hear my name on those tools, so you don't need me. Didn't hear what? On your what? Didn't hear his name on the tool list, so you don't need him. Oh, well, oh, you're not a tool fan. You're more than a tool to us. <laughs> no, wait, is this the one? This one? Oh. <laughs> He's just warming into it. You ready? Let's do it, man. Come on, we can do it. Here he goes. He's going into the den. Can't stop him now. You're gonna need the screwdriver too. Yep. There you guys, there it goes. Oh, this time. Right, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, that whole bowl will have to get down too. Catch all the drip, just might hold it there while it's still draining. Let it all drain out. Nice job. How do we know if the old diesel. Wait, 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 don't spill the diesel now. Now you gotta get it out of there somehow. Just let go of the thing. Put the thing inside the bowl and yeah. use your other hand to try and clear the thing out. Don't want to get a diesel in this That's thing. That's right. Careful, careful, careful. What you? What? You were just looking away there. Focus on getting this back up. A, is that the filter? Is there even a filter in here? Yeah, it's hanging up under the thing. Ah. Oh. It's just the case. Okay. Okay. Let's look at it. See, it's quite discoloured. That's the new shiny pink one. Yeah. Just, you just plonk it, push it back up underneath. Did you just stay there? Yeah. Nice, okay. Clean out the bowl. Now go up, nice. That's all we need to see. Screw on. That's nice. Okay, you can leave now and turn the petrol on. So now this is the bleed valve, you've undone that. Yep. Now you've got to pump the fuel through that you're doing there with that lever until the fuel starts bubbling out. So it'll bubble until there should be no drops. Looks pretty good. Okay, now to see if it's going to start after Finn's magic maintenance. Oh, music to my ears. Didn't even stutter. Nice. Okay, yeah, can you just check the leaks? Have a good look. Feel around. It's fine. It's fine? Good. Well, that's starboard engine. Let's get on with port. Back in town, stage three of the lesson was well underway. The tamarind had been drained from the fish and spices were being added. Curry masala and turmeric. Yeah, that's turmeric. Oh, that's turmeric? Turmeric. So how many teaspoons for that much fish? Oh, you can add three to five, eh? it depends how much teaspoons. you want to add. And we have, uh, so about two teaspoons of masala? Uh, and yes. about three and a of... A lot of uh, turmeric. Turmeric, yeah. yes, okay. Stage four, deep frying the fish. Because one of the things that puts me off is fish curry is the smell of it. And that doesn't smell at all. Now we use it, you use it the tamarind. If you've got no tamarind, you can use the lemon. Yep. You call the fish smell going out. Yeah, and you yeah. make the curry is very tasty. So you would not eat that now? Uh, Indian family won't eat that because they think that's still raw. 
still raw. Yeah, okay. but can a I, pigeon I, family will eat it. Do you mind if I try yes, some? Yes, you should try one. I should try some. Yeah, so nice and tasty. Yeah. I can know that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, look at that. Mm. Mm. Is it's it lovely. tasty? Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Got a slight yeah. fishy taste. Yes, that's why the Slightly, Indian family, yeah, family yeah. won't prefer to mm. eat this until mm. it's deep fried. Yeah. 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 Mm. Well, no, that's good. Like Stage five, the beer run. This is not part of making a fish curry, but it is still very important. So uh, we have just decided we need to get some beer. We're gonna get some peachy bitter. Yes. Stage six, making the fish curry. The main thing the Indian the Indian this is making the curry. Main thing is the curry, the Indian spices, <laughs> masala, and the second thing, main your timing. When that you that is a very important. <coughs> the time you cook the curry, you put all onion. The after that, I put the ginger and the garlic. Then you cook after that. You put you spices, cumin seeds and mustard ground turmeric, hot masala for aroma and taste. After that, myself put the fish here. On the fish. Right. A little bit salt, yeah. A little bit tender in this side. So you added water to the turmeric? Yeah, yeah, I added the water. Yeah. 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 Oh, right. Tomato. Mm. It's like tomato puri. And after that, I put the water, a little bit water here. Then let it be cooking. Yep. Finished. Yeah. It's very easy to make the fish curry. Fish curry is ruined the fish curry. And my curry is going to be amazing after this. <laughs> Someone who is holding his breath, Declan, had, like Rob, been avoiding a small job he had been repeatedly asked to do. Now his chickens were coming home to roost. He'd let Rob down. He'd let himself down, and quite literally, he'd let the sail bag down. The pulley broke, Declan. Remember that job I gave you? <laughs> pulley! Is that an old one? Yeah. I gave this job to Declan uh, weeks ago. Why did you put an old pulley out when well, we got the new... It was a temporary new... one, while we didn't have one when we were making them. Uh -huh. I bought new ones. And that's what we bought. Ew. Ew. I'm not going to eat Back on the deck. Because of that. Yeah, on the deck. There was nothing for it but to send the expendable middle child up the chimney. I mean, the mast. Back at Camp Curry, the finishing touches are going into the pot. This is the last thing for me. Ready now? Finish, yeah. Yeah. So we are getting yeah. the coriander yeah. to flavor it. Finish, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So Fish curry is done. Fish curry is done. Okay, the moment of truth. Test it and then you say whatever you want to on my second food. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very fussy either. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. I think it's okay. That is good. Now, Robert, mm, good. if you could yep. cook this, it's good, huh? maybe we would eat it. <laughs> maybe. Fish curry was only one of the dishes Ravine, Mika, and Tina had prepared. There was a lesson also in chicken curry, pumpkin curry, a salad, gorilla curry, and fresh roti. A veritable feast. That's my plate. Pumpkin. Mmm. Mm. Yum. I'm going to give you a lowdown on each one. 
Oh, that's really good. What's the um, the veggie one? The veggie one. What's it mm. called? Carella. Carella. Yeah, Carella. Yeah. That's really nice. Chicken. Good. Mm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. The Chicken curry is good. Mm. Well, I, that, I understand that little bit of bitterness, eh? Hey, a little bit. Mm. And the fish. It's good. Mmm. Thank you, sir. The crew of Javelo will be forever grateful. The gift that keeps on giving each time Rob reaches for the saucepan. If you enjoyed this video, please consider sharing it and give us a thumbs up. It helps us heaps.